from the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC meteorologist Jacob Riley. Well, good Thursday morning, South Plains. Thanks so much for starting your day off with us. We're here to let you know it's going to be cold today, but some warmer air is headed our way. Let's go ahead and look at this storm system that's been bringing us the colder air the past week or so. That now still continuing the winter storm warnings all the way through the Arklatex region. Winter weather advisories there in Mississippi, and it's kind of hard to tell, but the panhandle of Florida even seeing a tornado watch this morning. This is a very widespread system doing a lot of damage in many different forms. And unfortunately, our neighbors here in South Texas starting to see more of that wintry precipitation moving in. So definitely keeping them in our thoughts throughout the day today. But back in our area, relatively dry. A few snow showers developing to the northwest of Amarillo and down across the Permian Basin as well. But for most of our area, pretty free and clear this morning. We could see a few snow showers there in southern portions of Lee County and Gaines County today. Maybe a trace up to around an inch of snow there, but honestly not expecting much in the way of accumulation. Now, as we take a look at visibility across the region, we're starting to see some of that freezing fog from Clovis back towards Amarillo. Here in Lubbock, we've dropped down to nine miles but overall not too impactful for us here in the hub city this morning, but that could be a different story overnight tonight. Out at Lake Allen Henry, a beautiful view there of the lake, a very cold view though, but it looks like that snow you can see on the ground isn't going to be with us for too much longer. It will be there all day today though, with highs only topping out in the middle 20s, but we will see a little bit more sunshine. So hey, it's at least going to make us think that it is a little warmer out there. I promise Lubbock, this is the last day we're going to see high temperatures this cold over the next couple of days. 25 in Lubbock, 25 in Childress, 26 in Tulia, and 27 degrees in Brown for your high temperatures today. Notice we'll see those clouds for most of the region, but by this evening, a little bit more in the way of some sunshine. Tonight, though, that freezing fog is going to move back in and unfortunately create some new black ice patches, especially on those bridges and overpasses. So be sure to watch out for that for your Friday morning commute because it could be a little slick. And because of that, we've gone ahead and said that moderate impacts can be expected to travel for the entire KMAC viewing area now all the way through tomorrow morning. But after that, it really begins to improve across the area. Forecasted highs tomorrow into the upper upper 40s and lower 50s. That is well enough above freezing to allow a lot of that ice and snow to begin to melt. But with that being said, be sure you know what's above you because that snow is going to fall off roofs. Those icicles will begin to fall off as well, and we sure don't want anyone getting hit by those. As we head into Sunday, another cold front is going to move into our area, but don't worry, it's not going to bring that very cold air and it's not going to bring any more ice or snow. By next week, that cold front exits our area, and we're going to be dealing with more sunshine and above average temperatures. Your seven day forecast shows those highs today in the 20s, 40s tomorrow, 50s and 60s for Saturday through Monday. And then Kathleen, by Tuesday into Wednesday, 70s return to the region with more sunshine across all of Western Texas. You know, usually I'm excited for Fridays and to end the work week, but you know, I'm, I think I'm looking forward more to Monday through Wednesday next yeah. week and seeing those warmer temperatures and sunshine. I think we're all going to be relieved to see that. You know, we had that record heat earlier in the month of February, then we've slammed a winter into about a week and a half of time frame here, but it looks like spring will be back by the beginning of next week. Gotta love Texas weather. Oh yeah.